the idea for this print came from a visit to an elementary school. We talked about stereotypes, Native American stereotypes, and how we don't like to be portrayed. After I gave this presentation and the children were all excited, the teacher then said, oh, we have this art project, and proceeded to hand out this handout which then I was like, wow, that it's, you know, it sort of went against everything that I had just spoken about. I passed them around and looking at it thinking, oh, holy cow. And, you know, and I didn't want to be like, no, I'm tearing these up. <laughs> when I got home, I, I needed to make a piece about it. And I think that's what art does, is it gives you a point when you're having a bad time or a hard time or even a really happy time that you make an artwork about it. Like you're happy to see your mom and dad, your grandparents, you make an art piece about it. Um, you just got a new puppy, you make a drawing about the puppy. Um, you had a hard day and you just like wanna kick the bed. Um, you do a drawing about that hard thing and then then you tear it up and you say it's gone. I took the um, handout and went home with it and thought if this is what's out there and this is what's peop what people are seeing how can I interact with what's out there in the education system. Here it says on the print Indian look-alikes. Uh, circle the, the Indians in each row that look the same. Color the pictures. So I inserted my picture into um, the assignment so that young people could see an image of, of me at maybe their age, looking like anybody else in an elementary school. And to get away from this, this image in the piece of um, a native with a feather in the hair or um, the headband, the blues and these cool colors I'm very attracted to and they're a soothing color and anytime I'm starting an art piece at times I may start with that mm -hmm. because it's a cool calming place for me and it puts me into a comfortable place so then I can start the rest of the work. It's interesting also that it's turquoise and turquoise of course for uh, Diné Navajo people is a very sacred important stone and um, it's given to you for protection and most uh, Diné Navajo people wear turquoise. I wear a lot of it. I'm Today I'm wearing two Zuni pieces um, that were given to me by my mother-in-law. I would I would probably um, have students write um, a story about it and say you know would they put themselves into an art piece why or why not and coming from where they come from what how would they incorporate their personal photograph into a piece sometimes they they are not asked that because you're always drawing like when you're going through school you're always drawing uh, still life or like um, at Thanksgiving it's always the hand and then the turkey <laughs> there's certain like known projects and um, but what if you ask the child, would you take a photograph and where would you want your photograph to be put and what story would it be telling mm -hmm. based on looking at this? I made this piece really as a personal piece and sort of that it wasn't really going to go anywhere and to see it here, it, it hits a really special place inside and, um, and to know that, you know, almost... Um, it's very emotional for me that, that you guys are doing a piece um, and that many young people and other people will see this because it came from a place where it wasn't so good and now it's going to be used in a really great way. So it's exciting. <laughs>